Member for Carvel. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Education. Can the Minister advise the House as to the impacts of the Marshall Government's significant capital works program for schools in my community and across South Australia? Minister for Education. Thank you, I thank the member for Carvel uh, for his question. And I also note his long-standing uh, and deep and abiding interest in supporting young people as education in his community. Uh, the member for Carvel's parents were teachers, and their legacy continues in his endeavours to support education uh, in schools in the towns and uh, cities of Carvel. Um, can I advise the House uh, that in the Carvel electorate, uh, the people and the residents there are supported by a member of parliament who communicates regularly uh, with ministers, and as the Minister for Education, I hear, I hear very regularly from the member for Carvel about some of the needs of his schools, in particular in the Mount Barker area with its growing population, uh, some of the challenges that uh, potentially that may place on the local education infrastructure in the years ahead. Uh, and I advise uh, the member for Carvel and his community uh, that not just as a result of the weekly phone calls from the member for Carvel about this issue, uh, but we are keeping a very close eye on that. So the works I'm about to outline at some of his schools, uh, we will keep a close eye on the needs at some of the other schools. The member for Carvel regularly talks about the needs of Mount Barker South Primary School, a school that he's taken me to more than once, uh, and indeed uh, where he brought the governing council chair uh, in to meet me not that long ago, uh, and indeed Littlehampton Primary School, which also are under capacity challenges. And so there's work uh, that we may be in a position to to look at uh, in the years ahead as that population uh, in Mount Barker potentially grows. Uh, we will be keeping a very close eye on that. We are pleased uh, that as a part of the $1.3 billion in capital works that is in the state budget for educational upgrades around South Australia, there are a couple of particular upgrades within the member for Carvel's electorate. Mount Barker High School uh, has a $6 million project uh, where indeed building work has already commenced. It commenced in April. Uh, with completion expected in August next year. Uh, and the students at Mount Barker High School will see the benefit of the work being done by Blue Built Constructions, uh, Party Limited there. Uh, the redevelopment will see demolition, new works and refurbishment to existing facilities. It will see the school grow to a capacity of an expected uh, population of approximately 850 students in the foreseeable future. There's refurbishment of the upper level of Building 1, providing new general learning areas and service learning areas. There's an extension to the existing gymnasium, uh, providing a performing arts studio for the site with an adjacent general learning area. And indeed, the performing arts studio can be subdivided into three uh, general learning area sized teaching areas so that it can be flexibly configured to the needs of either a larger performance uh, or indeed smaller presentations. Uh, also uh, significant work to ensure disability compliance across the site. Demolition of some facilities, a small outdoor teaching area, but wait, there's more, uh, because since work has begun, we We've also added hearing augmentation being provided to all areas in the scope uh, and indeed refurbishment of Building 6 to accommodate relocation of administration uh, to deal with a particularly concerning issue for a number of members of the school community uh, with the long-standing uh, safety and compliance challenges. They can now be fixed with that relocation. Mount Barker Primary School also has a project in scope. It did have an $8.5 million uh, allocation that the, ha, has been added to by this government, so it's now a shade under $10 million uh, going to support the redevelopment at Mount Barker Primary. Uh, that includes the construction of a new two-storey building comprising new admin facilities, general learning areas, service learning areas and flexible areas, a new disability unit flexible spaces uh, for learning uh, and specialist amenities and some demolition of aged buildings. That project's out to tender for the construction contract closing on the, actually due to close this week, uh, and it's anticipated construction will commence in October this year with completion expected uh, around the beginning or just before the beginning of the 2022 school year.